What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You've seen the title and you're here because you want to check out if Yodobashi is really the place to be. But before we get started, here's a disclaimer because this video was taken like one or two years ago and I never had the time to go back to edit it until recently. So I decided to drop this again for you guys. Now Yodobashi is basically known as one of Japan's biggest electronic chain store. But what many people don't know is that they do carry hell a lot of toys and Yodobashi Akiba is one of their really big outlets in of course Akihabara. Now they have one floor dedicated for toys and games and while most of the products are recent retail stuff that you can find everywhere else, you could still find some really cool things if you're lucky. Whether it's figurines, plushies, Tomica, accessories from the latest anime such as Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece, MHA, you're gonna find most of the very popular franchise products here, especially Pokemon. Now they do have a small section for card games and also gift cards for all your gaming platforms, and not forgetting the cuter franchises and blind boxes and a whole lot of bot games. Even though most of them are in Japanese, you might find a handful of of the old or really highly collectible games that might be in English. Now they also do have a huge section for LEGO and everyone's favourite Gunpla, along with a whole lot of kits and tools for those who love to jack up their Gunpla. And if you're a fan of Tamiya, they even have all the accessories and models. Dedicated to gaming is a huge section of all the peripherals you could think of, whether it's games, headphones, mouse, keyboards, laptops, you name it. They also have Nintendo and PlayStation section with all the different products showcased separately. Now of course if you're getting tech products, warranty might be a problem if you are international. And whether prices could be better than where you're from really depends on what product is it and whether there are discounts or not. Now that's it, I hope this short video really helped you out because when I'm there I did find some cool stuff from time to time and I really think it's worth a check if you're into toys or games and Yodobashi itself has a whole lot of other things like camera gear, appliances which you never know you might really find something you love. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.